in those crevices are bats, millions and millions of Mexican free-tail bats. In Austin, people love the bats. They protect the bats, they're proud of the bats. My name is Malia Bayless and I'm the Director of Conservation for Bat Conservation International, based in Austin, Texas. We're standing right now in front of Congress Avenue Bridge, uh, and in 1980, the city of Austin replaced the bridge that spans over the river, the Colorado River, right in front of the Capitol. And somewhere between 1980 and 1984, bats moved in to the newly constructed bridge, into the little concrete crevices underneath the bridge. They scoot up into the crevices backwards, and it's warm. They don't have to thermoregulate. They're protected from predators, and it's a perfect place to exit, fly downstream, and eat bugs every night. So basically, the bats have found their perfect hotel. Bats are natural pesticides. They eat agricultural crop pests. Uh, they eat bugs that annoy us and bother our gardens. There are hundreds of people on lawn chairs and blankets with binoculars and their kids and popsicles. And all they're doing is waiting for the bats to come out. We do public private charters on Lady Bird Lake uh, here in Austin, Texas. Uh, we go out every single night for an hour every single evening uh, and watch the bats emerge. I've done this for about five years. And I'm just blown away with how many people come down and it's, and it's out there every single evening. evening. I mean, it may be 105 degrees outside. People are still waiting, just waiting to see these things. It's amazing. Austin is the self-proclaimed bat capital of the world, and I think they've embraced that culture and that um, love of bats completely. Hey, Dateline fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.